Good evening everyone. It's Sunday and here we go with another Sunday night of fun crafting and chit chat. How are we all tonight? Have Has everyone had a lovely weekend? Um, and I did not watch the Matildas game last night but I was, uh, I heard it, I heard what was going on because I was actually doing a Zoom with my team last night. We did a like a mini catalogue uh, showcase with the group last night which was a lot of fun and um, the Matildas uh, won part way through it so of course we heard all about it when that happened. So is everyone excited about that? It's freezing down there Elizabeth. Wow Leslie your husband is 77 and ran the city to surf. That is so good. How good is that? 90 minutes is awesome. There's a lot of younger people that couldn't do that. Absolutely. Wow, I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Joanne, nice to have you here. And hello, Janine. You said it's a warm 29 degrees in Brisbane. That sounds pretty nice. It was pretty cool here in Sydney, and I saw somebody else commented that it was dreary, cold and dreary in Sydney. Leslie said that. So, yeah, it was pretty warm and pretty cool. I'm, not, I'm actually about an hour north, an hour and a half north of Sydney, closer to Newcastle, actually. Um, and... Uh, but our weather is pretty much the same. So we we still, whatever Sydney is getting is usually what we're getting to. <sighs> so I'm just reading through the comments, saying, hello, Monique. I'm sorry you're not having a, a fabulous weather in your summer over there. How are you, Margaret? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you enjoy last night's Zoom? Was that fun? I thought it was fun. Uh, we were, the only thing we were sad about was um, was that um, Courtney wasn't able to join us. Um, it was meant to be the four of us, um, but unfortunately Courtney, um, had her plans got hijacked, so she wasn't able to join us. But we still had fun, and it was really, really fun. If you're in my team, make sure you're on our Insomniacs group. You can watch the replay of last night's um, Zoom. We went through the catalogue and talked about why we bought what we bought, why we didn't buy certain things. Um, and we just, you know, it was just really lovely to chat and, um, and answer questions from the team. So that was fantastic. Hello, Miss Ellen. Ellen was part of that last night. So awesome. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Hi, Donna. Hey, Cindy. Hi, Nairi. You watched last night, didn't you? Was that fun? Hello. Hello, Deb. Nice to see you. Hi, Joan. Oh, that's really good, Margaret. Great to hear. That's really good. I took my son for a driving lesson uh, yesterday. That was probably one of the, um, you know, it's the early days of, of driving. So he's only got like four and four and a half hours or something so far. So it's the early days where it's pretty nerve wracking. Um, so, yeah, it's like we come up to a corner, like, slow down, slow down, slow down, stop, 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 break, break. <laughs> so it's in that nervous, we're in that nervous stage. <laughs> so I'm... I know it's going to get better. Actually, today he did really well, so I was really pleased. It was, um, and he actually got brave enough to do a, a couple of things he hasn't done before. We tackled some roundabouts and traffic lights and things like that. So, yeah, that was that was a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah, Judy you went to sleep. We put you to sleep. I'll take that as a compliment. I think that we put you to sleep. That wasn't the intent, but if we did that, great to great to hear. How are you, Denise? Thanks for your help with last night's Zoom. That was fantastic. Hey, Sol Vega. All right, we should get started. Otherwise, I'll be here all night just saying hello to everybody. Yeah, today did go well. Thank you. Um, and he actually asked if he could drive. Um, he wanted to go over. He works at Kickin' Chicken, which is a little bit like KFC, but he says so much better, um, over at West Gosford. And he asked, could he drive over there and go through the drive-through? So that was, the, that was a bit brave. But we made it, and we made it home. So... No, he's not learning on a manual, Leslie, because um, I don't have one. Um, I learned on a manual. I grew up on a farm. So, yeah, I was um, always learned on farm vehicles how to drive. But, unfortunately, we don't have a manual for him to learn on. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Our team, Cherie just said so much for being in, an insomniac. Our team name for, for the demonstrators in my team is Inksomniacs, I-N-K, as, as in ink. Somniacs, okay, and that was named many, many years ago 
um, with those of us who craft late at night in mind because I certainly qualified for that at that point. I don't as much anymore. I find I need my sleep a lot more these days, but um, that is the team name. And Sheree was just commenting that uh, Judy wasn't much of an insomniac if she went to sleep during the Zoom. So <laughs> I know that's right. Oh, I don't know what just happened. My computer just did a restart. Oh, no, I'm still here. It just disappeared all of a sudden. My screen disappeared. I hope you guys have still got me. Can I drive a tractor? I have had a dabble in that when I was younger, but I doubt I could drive one now without some instructions. Probably work it out, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know. I this is my this is my youngest. So my daughter's um, on her P's and Ben's just on his L's. So, but he's a bit behind schedule. He should have been driving a long time before now. But anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, you have a picture? Did you lose the picture for a second? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, Les Mis. I love Les Mis, Leslie. That is such a wonderful musical. I love it. Was it the musical version? Um, it's probably my favourite musical of all time. I got to see it with, you know, Normie Rowe and uh, Deborah Byrne years and years and years and years ago at the Opera House. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's get started. Let's do some crafting. Um, if anyone has any questions as we go through, and you're welcome to keep chatting, to, chatting away to each other. This is basically what we do here on a Friday night and a Sunday night. It's just that I've worked out it's a big, lovely social group. And you are welcome to ask questions. You're welcome to comment, to chat to each other. Um, and I'm going to do some crafting and uh, and let's see how we go. I saw that one too, Leslie. Yep, fantastic. Hi, Roz. Nice to see you. Early Sunday morning. Ah, yeah, the dogs and the pets are what keep us up late at night, right? Or early morning. Absolutely. All right, let's switch over to the desk. I'll bring my camera over and let's get started. Oh, let's see. There we go. It's not quite centered. So let me just move that. And I'm just going to, I realized I need to zoom out a little bit. I'm a little bit close in. So let me, that's better. Can everyone see that okay? Is that all right for everybody? I've got a couple of ideas of things that I wanted to do tonight. First of all, I wanted to do, I was thinking, what have I got that I haven't used very much um, on my videos? And I was thinking I really haven't used the Timeless Charm set very much at all. So I probably need to, I don't really know what I want to do with this, but I thought I'd show it to you again because it is still available in the online store. It's not in a catalogue. You won't find it in any of our catalogues, but it is in the online store. To get to the online store, you can either go um, to stampinup.com.au, okay, and um, and go looking in there, um, And but it will ask you to choose a demonstrator to shop with. So if you wanted to shop with me, you certainly can. My name's Linda Dolke, D-A-L-K-E, but I'm also going to give you my direct shop link, okay. Um, if you go to... This address, L Higgins, I know it says Higgins, that's not my name anymore, but I haven't been able to change the blog yet. Um, one day I am going to change it. I even know what I'm changing it to. I have a, I have a blog name all chosen, but um, I'm not ready to make that jump yet because there's a little bit of, uh, bit of money involved and I need to get some expertise to actually switch everything over from the old address to the new address, all very technical, way beyond my skills. So I'm going to be getting someone to do that for me. So... When that happens, I'll have a new blog name and I'll announce that and you guys will be all part of that, I hope. But the address that you need to go to right now is lhiggins.blogspot.com, okay? And when you go there on the blog, you'll see there's a Shop Now button. If you click that, you'll go straight to my online store and you can shop in there to your heart's content. Uh, it's a shop that is online, which means it's open 24-7, so... You know, if you're ever able, not able to sleep in the middle of the night and you want to do some shopping, you certainly can do that, okay? Um, the other thing is you can watch my videos or check out any of the photos of my projects. You don't have to buy anything. Um, it's there for you to inspire you and, and um, to be 
to be motivation and inspiration for anything that you might want to do with your crafting. So even if you're not shopping with me, I just love that you guys come and watch these videos and are part of my little community, which is very exciting. Um, the other thing that you can do while you're at that Blogspot address, so the same address that's on the screen right now, you can also join my email list. So if you wanted to sign up for one of my emails, I send out emails usually about once a week um, or so or, you know, a week and a half. Um, and the whole point is that when you do that, um, you get emails that have uh, tutorials in them, there's inspiration photos, there's promotion ideas, specials, all of that kind of stuff is in my um, emails. And if I have something special coming up, which I do have something special coming up around the end of the month, then um, you'll want to be the first to know about it by being part of the newsletter. So definitely go in there and hit the sign up for the newsletter. Okay, I'll just take that off the screen. All right, um, and I'll go back so I can see your comments again because I can't see your comments when I'm looking at that. Oh, if I can show the translucent florals. I don't have translucent. You don't mean textured florals, do you? Because I don't have translucent florals. Oh, I know which ones you mean. I don't have those. I'm pretty sure. They're, they're in the new mini, aren't they? Um, and they were as part of creativity now i think that's the ones you're talking about i don't have them if they're the ones you're after sorry about that <laughs> um so yeah that's not something something i have but maybe i may get them at some point so there you go and it would be great with vellum especially the dyes the dyes for those ones are really nice with vellum so um there you go all right, I'm just reading through to see if I've missed any other. Yes, that is I, that is the one I'm thinking of. And, yeah, I don't have them. I never got them. So there you go. You can't have everything, right? All right, so these are called Timeless Charm. Both the stamps and the dies are both called Timeless Charm, Timeless Charm Stamp Set and Timeless Charm Dies. And I've done a few projects with them um, here and there over the last couple of months, but not a lot. So I thought I would... Um, play with those tonight and I'm going to grab a couple of things I'm going to grab some some white paper to stamp on and I'm just thinking will this be enough I think it will let's come in with my trimmer and cut it uh yep so I'm making this it's going to be 10 centimeters wide I may end up cutting it down Actually, I probably will end up cutting it down. But let's start with it 14.3 by 10 centimetres across. If you're in the US, that means your card front piece is going to be four inches across by five and a quarter. So um, it's just a – and I'm going to do a combination, mostly mostly stamping with this, and then maybe we'll um, – maybe we'll bring um, some dyes into it as well because I'd like to. So I'm going to start, I want to start not too dark. I want to start, I'm wondering which way will I go? Shall we go, okay, the question is, are we going to go Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock? Although I am thinking about doing Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock on my second card. Maybe for this one I should do some purples. And I know we've got a couple of people watching that love the purples. I've got Gorgeous Grape, Fresh Freezer, Highland Heather. Also from last year's In Colours, we've also got Orchid Oasis, which is a great... Maybe we'll go with the Orchid Oasis. Maybe we'll do that. How do people feel about that? Does that sound all right? And the other colour that coordinates really, really well with that, it's a bit darker, is Starry Sky from the same colour palette. Okay, so let's start with that and one thing I really love about these we've got some stamps in here let me just have a look um, that I like they're like um, they look like a watercolor a watercolor wash and I love them because they go they're dark and light so you get different um, strengths of stamping even just with the one with the one um, stamp so I'm deciding whether I want to have a second one. I'll start with this one and we'll see how we go. Now, it's not going to stamp particularly dark because the stamp itself is designed not to do that. Even if I ink it up pretty well, okay, it's going to give me like a wash look, quite light. And I think that's okay. So I'm thinking 
let's just go with some I'm going to do this on an angle just because I like to do that sometimes and I'm going to see how it's part of it's darker and part of it's lighter like this purples good I'm glad we chose the right way <laughs> and I'm just going to offset them a little bit I've got a mark there but that doesn't really matter that's because see I've got quite a bit of ink around the edge because I was pressing fairly hard so let me fix that by just giving my stamp a quick clean on my scrub got the cleaning side and the drying side even though I know we have the chamois now I still love my scrub as it's still my preferred cleaner all right I'm deciding whether to do the whole background or to leave some you know what I might leave some let's leave some and just see how that goes all right and then we want to have some other um, some darker stamping over the top so so I'm gonna, like I said I'm going to keep this one pretty much um, mostly just um, stamping simple stamping so let's see what what leaves have I got I've got the cute little flower that's really cute and then we've got a couple of different leaf sets leaf stamps so but this one is actually a better size I think to go with let's just see yeah that's nice all right so I'm going to stamp this over the top of these and I might not stamp them all I might just do a few here and there sometimes it's just fun to stamp for the heck of it you know you're not you're not doing anything now the question is am I going to stamp the other stamps on as well or will I I might come in with the dies that might be a good idea the other stamp that I really like in here that I think it's really nice I love the words but I really like this thanks for all you do so I think that might be nice up here in the top uh, let me see thanks for all you do that'll fit on my B block here and let's use the starry sky for that too ah were you were you um, watching the race on TV while you were crafting Leslie all right, I'm just going to bring my head into this for a second because I want to make sure this is straight. So the best way to do that is to kind of get your head in over the top of it. Now, we could just leave it like this. We could put it on a starry sky or an orchid oasis background or a, you know, back a card a card um, base and that would be really nice just add some bling and call it a finished card it would actually work out quite well but I'm wondering about adding a couple of things so one of the things I'm thinking about adding is maybe some some bling some bling in the form of some more dazzle paper which is this okay this is gorgeous this stuff love 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 it it's in the annual catalog it's called more dazzle six by six specialty paper absolutely gorgeous and goes with lots and lots of things so i was thinking i could put i could put a couple of uh, slim pieces of it should we should we add this or should we would we better off adding just um we could just add some some bling in the form of embellishments too and keep it really simple do we want to do a lot more with it what do we think you weren't you were too busy concentrating awesome <laughs> all right well let me cut a piece and let's just see what it looks like and then I may cut this down a little bit we'll see now when I cut this stuff on my trimmer I turn it over because I feel it's less um, hard on your blade if you cut from the other side so I'm just going to cut a nice little a nice little piece off like this and what I'm thinking about doing is I was thinking about adding these but yeah maybe maybe not maybe I would like it just 
without that. Or maybe we have a little bit that pops over underneath our greeting. What do you think? What do you guys think? Bling and dazzle. Oh, you think so? Strips would be nice. All right, well, let's do another one and just see how that looks. I'll do three just to be safe because then I can decide what I want to do with them. All right, so what I was originally thinking of was having a layer of bling in between each one, you know, cut off the excess like this. Every time I use this dazzle paper, I, I just fall a little bit more in love with it. So I'm thinking about doing this and then chopping off the excess, if that makes sense. The other thing I could do is put the thanks for all you do on a banner. That might look really good. So basically, we could have our card just like this. Stick it on the card front and call it a card, okay? However, if you want to start stepping it up a little bit, we start adding elements, all right? Now, in our dies, there aren't any label kind of dies that are going to... Um, are going to work with this. I'm just going to pull. What did I just literally? Did I just lose the dice? Surely not. Oh my gosh! Now here they are. I'm. I'm just. Uh, you know. So I could put. I think maybe putting the thanks for all you do on the label. If you're going to do a really, really like a really simple um, card, you could just do this, and it would look lovely. But and add some bling or a ribbon or something like that. But I'm thinking that this might be nice for us to add some other fun little things. So let's step this up and make it a little bit more, shall we say, challenging. Just a little. And I'm going to make this, instead of 10 centimetres across, I'm going to take half a centimetre off. Or if you're doing this in, um, in the US, you would take off a quarter of an inch. All right. And I'm going to take the same off this way, the length as well. So half a centimetre or quarter of an inch. All right, so now it's a little smaller. All right, and I have got, let me see here, have I got some orchid or starry sky on my desk or do I have to reach out and get some? Oh, look, I have, I have some orchid. That will do just fine. All right, so before we put that on, we're going to put these on. So let's... I'm going to have a layer that goes, or one little bit that goes straight across here. So I'm going to put that over here. All right. And this one, I'm actually going to put it onto the strip itself. And I want to make sure that I'm going to use my grid paper because I want to make sure that these are lined up with each other and they're straight. So I want that to be in a line so it's perpendicular or sorry is it perfect no it's parallel to that one I get those mixed up does anyone else get those mixed up I know they're mathematical terms if Janine is watching this later she will not not Janine in Brisbane this is Janine overseas <laughs> she's a maths teacher and she will um, correct me I am sure because she does that and that's okay that's her thing. And let's put this one. Straight here. Like that. So at least, even if they're not the same distance apart, at least they're all the same on the same angle. All right. So let's turn that over and take off the extras easy to do if you use the edge of your paper as your guide just snip it off in line with the edge of the paper all right so we still need to work out what we want to do with the thanks okay I feel like it needs something there I love the bling of this though see how blingy that is isn't that nice love it 
So let me grab a label of some description. Um, I'm just going to, we could do, hmm, maybe the something fancy dies would be good or the other one that would be good would be the nested, um, where are they? What am I thinking of? The nest, are they nested elements? Nested essentials, they're the ones I'm looking for looking for let me see how those would look these have got some nice i love nested dies so dies that fit one inside the other um, so i could for example pop this here but it's quite big isn't it so no maybe not maybe not that one uh, this little guy this could be interesting because it could have no that one's too big and I think this one might be too small. So maybe these are not going to work. Maybe these are not the right size. Yeah, that's not going to be right either. All right. So not these. As much as I love them, maybe I'll use them on the next card. Not, not sure about those. But let's try something fancy. These are good. Um, let's find a little one. So that one there is not bad. Last night we were talking about some of the new, the new punches and uh, dies and things in our new, our new catalog in our new mini, and um, like always happens, I was watching and then suddenly realised there was one I really wanted to have that I didn't already have. I'm thinking this one might be the one I want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of white. I'm going to stamp in the starry sky. Oh, heat embossed with silver, that would look nice. That would be a lovely idea. I'm not going to go heat embossing tonight because I find I take so long. When I do heat embossing, it just seem, I seem to end up being on here all night. And already I'm a little bit further. I'm not as far along as I'd like to be as it is. So I'm going to avoid heat embossing tonight, but I do love it. Do love it. All right, let's, let's do this. All right. And then what I'm also going to do, I've got some leftovers here. So I'm going to put this on my piece of paper here, just below. And I've got it lined up so it's in a straight line, lined up with my words. I'm sticking it straight on like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out with this. And so the, the bling also will be cut at the same time as the rest of it. And so it'll be it'll be incorporated into the label. So that'll that'll tie it all together very nicely. So let me grab my cut and emboss machine and let's bring this in. I haven't used any of the dies from the set yet, but that's okay. Let's bring it in. Has anyone, have we seen Rose tonight? Is Rose here? I haven't seen her. Anybody notice if she's here? Or Rose, if you're here, say hi. All right. Pretty happy with that. I think that's going to be okay. I'm trying to be really exact. I'm being fussy because I want this to be, I want this to be positioned really well. my top on and let's wind that through all right oh on friday night we made a yellow card you remember the one yellow and orange from the black mat and the black dots that we ended up adding so that looks good and I'm thinking maybe um, I've got I've got a dauber here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponge a little bit of colour around the edges of my. So I'm going to use the lighter colour, the orchid, to sponge around. So just going to pop my dauber into the orchid oasis. Did I say the right word? Orchid Oasis. That's correct. I keep wanting to say Orchid Opulence. For those who've been around for a long time, you'll know that that's a colour we had 
and I often say the wrong one. I've been guilty of saying, instead of Calypso Coral, I've said Cameo Coral. That's how long I've been doing this. Way, way, way years ago we had those colours and I keep saying the wrong ones. I keep saying Whisper White, not Basic White, although that one's not quite so long ago. All right, so that's that's looking good. And let's put, so what we're going to do now, so this is going to end up here and I want it to be up on dimensional. So basically we've taken a simple card and we've added bits to it so that now it's got a bit more, bit more going on. So I'm just going to use a couple of dimensionals behind that. And let me position this so it's straight. Making sure before I push it down hard. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so we've stepped it up a little bit, yeah? So just something just something different. And no, I never have any idea of what <laughs> of what my cards are gonna look like for you guys on a Sunday night. I very rarely know what I'm doing. So um just having a look now if i was to have a look at the timeless charm dies we could if we wanted to there's see these little leaves here we could have them popping out from behind the greeting but i don't know that we need it for this card i think maybe we want to keep it pretty simple i'm going to pop this on that um orchid oasis piece that i had a moment ago when i find it here it is Ta da all right, let's, let's run that on there. Oh, no, that's no good, Kathy. I hope you can get more rest. Maybe, maybe rest your mind by thinking about some crafting and then you'll be able to sleep better. Maybe. I hope you can. Oh, of course the dogs are sound asleep now, Roz. That's how it works, right? Whoops, that edge is not stuck down. So let me add some glue to that. All right. So this is how it's looking now. Okay, it's nice and blingy. But, of course, we can never have enough bling, and I'm sure there's somebody here who would love me to add more bling to this. Am I correct? I'm going to get my um, basic white card base and just fold that. So this is half a sheet, full sheet of basic white and then cut in half and fold it in half again to make my card base. And that is the same whether it's US letter or A4 metric. So it works for both, even though they're different size pieces of paper. All right, let's get this centered. Oh, that one's not quite stuck down either. I'm going to have to do a little bit of a little bit of extra movement here. A bit more glue. So really simple card to start tonight. Really super simple. Oh, hey, Rose, there you are. You just think about cards. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to assume that Gracie is a dog. Is that correct, Kathy? Is Gracie or is that a child? I'm sorry, I don't know. So you can let us know who Gracie is. Oh, you like it? All right, Judy. What do you think? Oh, Jodie is here. She said she's here. Aha, there you are. So do we need more bling? This is the question. Or do we need maybe a ribbon instead of bling? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me sneak peek something new for you, something we haven't used here. Okay, so some of you would know we have a new catalogue coming on uh, 6th of September. And I, um, I'm playing with a lot of new product. This is some gorgeous new ribbon that we have. It is stunning. Can you see it? It's sheer white ribbon with a silver shiny edge. And it's just stunning. Super soft, really easy to tie. 
Gracie's your puppy. <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking I've already got one tied. And the reason that this is like this is because in my video with the girls last night, um, I um, we were showcasing new items and so I showed them how nicely it ties. So I've already got a ribbon tied. And I think this might look really, really nice just below here. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. It's not too over the top. It's very elegant and pretty. Let me cut the ends. Ah, oh, it's so nice. I think this is the perfect. So you can't buy this ribbon yet. Everything else that I'm using you can buy right now, but you cannot buy this ribbon until the 6th of September unless you're a demonstrator. If you're a demonstrator, you can get it right now. Now the big question is, are we going to want it in the middle or do you think on the side of our, our piece? And if I was going to put bling on, I'd put a piece of bling right here over this little mark that I managed to get on there. But, hey, it's a handmade card. We could, what do we think? So I think the ribbon or the embellishments, not both, because I think it might be over the top if I use both. But then again, you guys might think different. So I'd love to know what you think. I've got some starry sky. Are these starry sky or are they blueberry bushel? I am not sure. Let's check that out, shall we? Because these are dots from the annual catalogue, these ones. And I am not sure if they're starry sky, but even if they're not, it's close enough. That's a nice dark blue that we could use. So what do you guys think? Is ribbon and bling too much? Try the ribbon over the mark. I think it might look a bit weird down here. Yeah, it's not quite right. It's, it's a bit odd. No ribbon, says Margaret. Ooh, so we have some controversy tonight. The ribbon is gorgeous, Glenda. Absolutely beautiful. And, yeah, really good for different, like, wedding cards, engagement cards, but all year round, and I will be using it for Christmas. I think it's gorgeous. Where it is ribbon on the side only, so like that. Is that what you're saying? Because it does look nice. Ribbon only. Orchid Oasis or similar bling, says Jody. Oh, so many choices. I'm just going to look up to see what colour this is. I think that's that needs to be decided. So in the catalogue here, the catalogue is broken down into, you know, you've got bundles at the back, you've got all your dyes together, you've got all your ribbons together, and then you've got all your embellishments together. So the ones that I'm looking at here, where are they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to find them. Are they on this page? No. So we've got a double page here. Huh. I hope I haven't picked up some retired bling. It's possible. I could have. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. So the colours in here, this mossy meadow, that looks like pool party. So can someone tell me if these are retired? Have I picked up retired ones and not realised that they've retired? Huh. Anyway. <laughs> bling, no ribbon, says Jody, And then ribbon, no bling, says somebody else. So only needs the ribbon, says Judy. All right. So let me go back and see who first commented about this. And I'm going to try and give it to the person. We'll do what the person who first commented said. Um, do, 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 do. On the side says Judy Henderson. On the side says Judy Moody. Side, side. Everyone's saying side. Um, no ribbon, said Margaret Gordon. Only needs the ribbon, says Judy. All right, so it looks like the vote is for ribbon. We've got, even though we've got people saying both, I'm going to pop it on because it gives you guys a really nice look at some brand new stuff. Something brand new, right? Isn't it gorgeous though? This ribbon is stunning. I love, love, love it. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of it because it's so, it's just too beautiful. I'm just popping a glue dot behind it and popping it here on the side. And that's how it's looking. I think if we didn't have these bits of um, more dazzle paper, I absolutely would have gone to town with my embellishments. But um, that's how we're going to go. I'm going to call that finished. And let's get to card number two. Okay. 
Did anyone end up knowing the answer whether I picked up the wrong bling and it's not available anymore? Because I can't see it. Maybe maybe it was in the last mini catalog. Oops. I'm sorry if I picked that one that you can't buy. I don't like showing things that you guys can't buy because there's nothing I hate more than doing a live video and then someone says, where can I get the XYZ that you just used? And I have to tell them it's no longer available. That makes me feel really, really bad. Um, so I try and always use current pro product, always, um, or product that's about to, product that's new and will be available soon, but not product that you can't get anymore because that makes me sad. All right, let's put these bits and pieces away and then let's do a second card, something else simple, but this time I'm going to use some different stuff. All right, got these out of the way. I'll clean up very, very quickly. The good thing about the stamp and scrub is it makes clean up really fast, right? So if you don't have one of these, they're, I think they're a great investment, a fantastic tool. And as you guys know, I love talking about tools. I just noticed that the screen looks a bit... Mm. I'm going to come in and see if this... Um, my camera screen, sorry about this, guys. Just giving my camera screen a little bit of a... I'm wondering if it... Is that better? Is that any better? I don't know that it is. Huh. Interesting. Yep, we're going to call it done. Exactly. All right. Okay. So the next card I was thinking about doing... Um, no, I said I was going to clean those. I will clean them really quickly. Um... The next card I wanted to use the sea turtle set because I haven't used that for a while, and it is it was in the last mini, but it's also in the next. It's also in the current annual catalog. So, um, true. I could do that. I could do that, Joanne. That's a good idea. Yeah, it could be the lighting. It shouldn't be though. I've got my. Um, special camera lighting on so I don't know why it seems a little fuzzy to me so you lost Jodie sorry about that you can't win them all honey just can't <laughs> all right so I'm just going to pop these away and let's whack these in that thanks for all you do is that what it says yeah thanks for all you do I think that's a really nice a really nice greeting. And that one goes there. I keep my paper in. You don't have to. This is just how I do it. That way I know straight away if one's missing. <laughs> and I know where they all go. So um, it just suits me to have them. That's how I do it. But you don't have to do that. You can certainly discard the, the rubber um, backing if you don't want it. I just prefer to keep mine in. But... It's a personal preference, personal preference. All right, so we've got this paper. This is also an online exclusive, okay? This paper is only available. It's called Hello Irresistible, um, and it is only available. Actually, it matches a set called Irresistible Blooms, this set here, okay? And there's dyes that match it as well. In fact, the dyes match up with some of the paper, and you can see I've been using the dyes to cut out some of my flowers. So... Um, it's really, really works well with the dyes and the stamps. But I also really like it because I love the colours in this. It's, like I said, Hello Irresistible. It's got beautiful um, soft sea foam, Lost Lagoon. Uh, what else is in it? Uh, Flirty Flamingo, uh, So Saffron, Daff Daffodil Delight, a whole bunch of different colours. Uh, when you get your pieces, they come with a backing sheet and the backing sheet tells you all the colours that are in it, Okay. So Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Lost Lagoon, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock and Soft Sea Foam. They're the colours in it. But I particularly like this piece. Okay, you can see I've already chopped it up a little bit. This piece was chopped up and I think it came. I've missed a bit, but yeah, this piece here, maybe it was this one. I don't remember. But anyway, this piece here um, to me looks like like it's underwater. It looks like sea kelp or something like that, seaweed, right? And I thought, well, that would go really, really nicely with my um, my sea turtle set, don't you think? 
you made your mum's Mother's Day card with the set. Yeah, beautiful. Really, really lovely. So um, I just think um, that this is something that needs to be needs to be used because it's just beautiful. Now I've got some Lost Lagoon paper here. So let me start with that. And I'm going to cut this to size. Start here. And we're going to make it, I'll make it card front size. So we're going to go 10 centimetres across. So the same measurements we had before by 14.3. It's already the right size that way. All right. And then I've got this piece here. All right. Now this piece is going to go on here. Do I want it this wide? Probably not. I'm going to take it down so it's uh, half a centimetre smaller. So it's going to be 13.8 this way. Okay. You'd make it half uh, quarter of an inch if we're going the other side and I'm going to have it on here but I'm going to cut it down a little bit here as well so I'm thinking um, maybe seven let's try seven and then we can always cut it down a little bit more if we want to so I like this particular layout I use it quite a bit now the back piece has these kind of like dotty lines on it in fact there's a die in the set that looks very similar to this. So I'm going to make this one the same length as the other piece, but I'm going to make it narrower and make it about two and a half centimeters or an inch if you're using US sizing. And let's see how that goes. We might need to cut it down a little more, just a tiny bit. Yep. So I'm going to cut it down a couple of millimeters smaller than that, or you know, maybe an eighth of an inch smaller so for those of you who need inches um, I try and give measurements in inches where I can because I did have someone tell me recently that she was sad that she couldn't make any of my cards because um, because she didn't know how to understand metric so I try and give the measurements if I possibly can because I want you guys to be able to um, you know use these um, no matter where you live, I want you to be able to be inspired and use these designs if you can. So let's pop this on. You can use Tombow, you can use Seal, you can use whatever glue you like. You don't need to worry. It is, Jodie. I know it doesn't really matter, does it? But it is it is fun. I know people get really excited when when we choose their, their idea. <laughs> But, um, but sometimes there's so many ideas flying around that you just can't choose them all. So I'm going to put the reverse side of this paper in that space that's left over. Because it's just a night, just adds a bit more interest to the background than if I used all of it the same all the way across. All right, a bit more interesting. All right, so just like that. Now, We've got our sea turtle set. That's this one. And it doesn't, this is an interesting set. It doesn't have any words in it at all. Um, but it has these beautiful sea, sea turtles. There's little turtles and big turtles. They're much bigger than what it is on the cover. I also love this, this piece here. Okay, I think that is just gorgeous. It's like, see how big they are? It's like lots of bubbles coming up the side. And you can have... Um, the bubbles in the background behind your sea turtle, which I think looks really, really nice. I may use those. I haven't decided whether I'm going to or not. So I'm going to pop them on a block and I'll come back and use them maybe. We'll see. Okay. Now, here's the thing. This set, you'll notice, and we've got a few sets like this. This is what they call a reversible set. Um, and you'll notice that it's reversible because you've got each image and then the same image but just the shadow of it okay so you've got you can use either the detail side or you can use the shadow side and that that opens up so many possibilities of different things you can do you can use the shadow side to color in your like a two-step stamp turn it over and color it or you can just have things in the background and just have a hint of them or a shadow of them so you've got little fishies You've got um, like little kelp pieces here. You've got a couple of starfish. And like I said, you can color them, but you can also um, like have a shadow of something in the background, which is really nice. So it gives you a lot of, opens up a lot of options for you, which I think is, I think is lovely. 
Has anyone tried playing around with those? I've just got a scrap of paper here. And because this is a photopolymer set, I want to use a mat. I want to use a, uh, a paper piercing mat. And my paper piercing mat has gone for a while. Here it is. I knew it wasn't far. Here we go. All right. And so I'm going to, this background is uh, Lost Lagoon. And I'm just thinking um, maybe I will use, I think I want to use Pretty Peacock, but then it's just occurred to me that my Pretty Peacock ink is not in its space. And that's because I just used it for something else. Here it is. It was over being used to make some tags for my catalogue mail out. All right. So I want to use this one. And because it's such a big stamp, you'll need at least block E put this on you won't you won't fit it on block d so you need either block e or block f now f is a really big block that's the one we use for um for background stamps so block e is probably uh, usually block e is as big as i need to use but occasionally i need block f if you have a stamp apparatus or a stamp positioning tool of some kind you can use that instead of block f you can get away with not having block f now when you pick this up one side you can feel one side has the detail and the other side is flat okay so the flat side is going to give you the shadow and the detail side obviously is going to give you the detail so i just need to get this cat hair off here because that's not going to translate very well to stamping where did that come from i wonder somebody's been around when i've been stamping with this set nobody's surprised really <laughs> yeah i can show you how to use both um i don't know whether i'm actually going to use both on this card because we've got the lovely paper but um but i'll show you on this piece of paper how about that all right so this is my detailed, isn't it pretty? And, you know, I didn't mean to do it, but obviously I've inked up this end more and it's actually faded out a little bit towards the back and it makes him look like he's got two tones, which is, <laughs> can you see that? I don't know if the lighting, you can see it very well, but he's got a lighter bottom than he has a head. But if you were going, if you wanted to, let's, let's do it with that other stamp because I think this is a good one to show. So just say I start with... It's not precise, okay, but I, I like the way it does it. So let me use a lighter colour first, um, such as balmy blue maybe, and then maybe misty moonlight or night of navy over the top of that. So just to give you an idea. So I'm not going to stick this on the card. I'm doing the back, okay, this is the solid side, not the, not the detail side. Let's put that down this end. All right, so it just gives me like a pretty solid kind of a kind of a stamp. You think, well, what is that? Not much. Then I'm going to clean that with my stamp and scrub, and I'm going to take it off and put it back on the other side. And then I'm going to use a darker colour. In this case, misty moonlight. And like I said, I'm not going. This it doesn't line up perfect. It's not symmetrical, but that's okay. You know, it's bubbles. So it doesn't have to be symmetrical. You know, it's going to kind of. These guys, though, they are symmetrical. So you can colour those precisely. This this piece you can't. But I love that it kind of, you end up with these different layers of colours. So it looks more like actual water. I think that's really nice. In fact, wouldn't that look nice to show, like it almost looks like waves or ocean really really nice so it's a really lovely way to get extra stamps out of the same set it effectively even though it only says you only have eight stamps in the set you have one two three four five six seven eight detailed stamps and then you have the backs of those stamps so it doesn't count those extra ones as stamps of course because you know it's still the same ones but it just gives you a lovely effect okay so I think that that's, I think it's a really nice way. Now this though, I could, if I wanted to, 
turn over my turtle and because he's pretty much symmetrical I could stamp a lighter color over the top of him and color him so I could make you know I could make him instead of being in fact maybe I will maybe I'll do that all right I'm just going to clean it first so I'm going to I've cleaned it I'm going to take it over now I've got the solid back and instead of using pretty peacock because that's what I use for the detail I'm going to use, let me just find my, here it is, Lost Lagoon. And I'm getting myself all crooked too. Why am I so crooked? <laughs> Trying to get this straightened up for you because there we go, that's a bit better. All right, so I'm going to use my Lost Lagoon. Now, I'm just wondering how dark is my Lost Lagoon? Let's see. It's not too bad but if it's too dark you could stamp it off and then just have because I, I don't want it to be too dark I don't want to lose too much of my um, pretty peacock detail so see how this almost lines up because it's almost symmetrical and so we're going to color it so we haven't got a white background anymore can you see that so now we have him colored we've got a We've got the background is, is Lost Lagoon and the detail is Pretty Peacock over the top. And I chose those two colours because they're in the paper but also they go so nicely together. They, you know, you can't go wrong. And that's that's the colours that are here, okay. So now instead of having that white, that's going to look really, really great. Now the one thing this set does not have is dyes, okay. So we do have to cut it out. That's okay because I know you guys can can amuse yourselves while and chat to each other and chat to me while while I'm cutting or I can tell you a story if you want me to tell you a story I'm not going to sing you a song though but I'm just going to go around and when I cut I turn my paper more than I turn my scissors and that way I get a much more um, what's the word a smooth line so I'm going to turn my paper and also you will find it easier if you get rid of excess paper it's just easier to cut with a smaller piece so that's something else to bear in mind when you're cutting I actually like cutting I'm a weirdo sorry <laughs> um any fellow weirdos out there who like to cut I know most a lot of people tell me they don't like cutting but I, I have always enjoyed it Anyone else? <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Joanne. The dimensional in the bubble of the shell, that's a great idea. Well, I'm not doing that today, but uh, anyway, gives you an idea. This, there's a lot you can do with these guys. I just think they're really nice. I have loved this set ever since I first saw it. I really just bought this set because I liked it, not because I thought it was a... Sometimes I buy sets very strategically, you know, because I think people need to see them if they want to buy them. And I know that if I use them and show them how to use it best, that people will buy the sets. And, and so it's strategic, you know. But this set is one I just loved it and bought it for myself because it was so nice. And I do that sometimes too. So usually my first pass of things there's usually one thing on my order that is just for me something that I just love because it's pretty or you know I've been known to buy um like there's a there's some paper in the new catalog that I bought some of you might already know which one it is it's very blingy and I bought it purely for me just because it's pretty so so there you go. You love to fussy cut, Kathy. See, you and me could be friends. We could sit down and fussy cut together. <laughs> but I know some people struggle because maybe, you know, their fingers fingers hurt when they cut or you know it's not as easy as it used to be I get that I understand 
All right, so this is going to end up, I'm not sure even where yet, but he's going to end up down here somewhere, possibly. He might go this way, he might go the other way. But I think we're going to need some baby turtles. Don't you think we need we need some baby turtles? A couple of these little guys and maybe even a starfish or maybe one turtle and one starfish. That might be the go. All right, so I'm going to put... I'm going to put my, de I, I find I, I prefer to use the detail first and then I come back and, and add the, um, the colour behind. So, and because it is a sort of a solid kind of stamp, I do want to use a mat underneath. So let's go here with him. Oh, did I go over the edge? Mm, maybe. Let's turn that over and do that again. Oh, there's a bit of mess on this side. Never mind. That's all right. Oh, did I do it again? No, I'm, I'm okay. That's all right. All right, so I'm going to clean that. And then I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the detail on the other side. Sorry, the solid piece on the other side. And... There we go. Oh, I didn't stamp it off that time. So he's quite dark. He's darker than I probably like him to be. Well, I've got that one. I'm going to do it one more time. Ah, oh, you know what? Let's stamp it off. It's too dark. Now, I didn't quite stamp. That, I think, is a better colour. So let's clean that and then turn it over and go in with our pretty peacock. I think it is going to be, I think that's going to be too dark, but we can choose. You guys can let me know which one you like the best. I do think I like him better. Can you see that the, you can, the detail is better on this one than this one because it's a darker one? But they both look good. While we're here, let's do the starfish. Um, do I want the big starfish? I think I want the little starfish. I like the little starfish. That will actually fit on block A quite nicely. Let's do that. And clean it and turn it over and lost lagoon and here we go. That's better. You're not very good at it, Carol. Yeah, it just takes lots of practice. Oh, you got the turtles in the stamp sale. Fantastic. Well, this is sort of hopefully give you some inspiration to use it because I just think it's the most wonderful set. I think I'm going to use this one. Do we like that one? The, this one? Oh, that's really nice, Cherie. You know what? When I went to um, Hawaii with Stampin' Up! back in two, 2015 um, and we um, had a few extra days over there and um, we drove up around the North Shore and I was, we could see turtles in the water from our, um, from our um, hotel on Waikiki, but I really wanted to get up and cl up close and personal to them on the beach, you know. I really was hoping to run into some turtles. And as it happened, we did get to see turtles really close um, and it was fantastic. It was so, so good. You're not allowed to touch them. If you do, it's a $10,000 fine or it was then, I don't know if it still is, but um, so amazing. You know, I just, I drove past, we drove past the beach and I said to my husband, stop, 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 there's turtles on the beach, I can see them. And we had to park and um, they were patrolling the beach. They had people there monitoring the turtles and making sure nobody touched them. Um, but they were running like a tracker over the turtles to see, you know, to see where the tags were that they had, you know, where they come from and they keep a track on all the turtles that come through there. And this particular turtle, the lady was so excited because it was an untagged turtle. She was just beside herself. She's the first untagged turtle that they'd had in a couple of years, which meant that the turtles were starting to come back to that beach and she was so excited. So it was a really nice moment. But we also got to swim with them Um once again, not touch them, but we snorkeled with them off Waikiki um, on one of our excursions. So good. Love, love, love turtles. Brings back really good memories for me. I love them. They're such 
such graceful creatures for something so big and cumbersome looking. They're, they're just so graceful. All right, so now I have a big turtle and a little turtle. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good on this background? And then we also have a little star. And because of the background, we don't need to do anything else much because the DSP is going to do all the talking for us in the background. It just looks like it's, like I said, seaweed or something like that. So to me, it looks like they're in a, a watery a watery heaven. Just beautiful. So I'm nearly there with my cutting. I'm sorry it's taking so long. It was the first set you bought, Cherie. <laughs> The light one said, Leslie, good. I picked the right one. And I know Maui. It just, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? I haven't been to Maui. We were supposed to go in 2020 and 2021. That was where our incentive trip was to. And then, of course, COVID happened and nobody from Australia went anywhere. <laughs> and... Um, and so we missed out on Maui two years in a row and I still haven't been. And right now I'm thinking I'm really glad in a way we didn't go because it would have been even more heartbreaking seeing the places we've been totally destroyed. Just too sad. Too sad. Oh, did you, Cheryl? Isn't that a fantastic experience? Oh, how exciting. Yeah, that's it's heartbreaking. They will rebuild it. I know they will. They will. Oh, that's not good, Carol. That's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. All right. So let's see. What have we got here? We've got a lovely big turtle. We've got a little guy who can be maybe swimming off the top here somewhere. And we have a starfish down the bottom. I don't want to cover up too much because I want us to still see this beautiful um, greenery around the back. And then, of course, we need to find somewhere to put, um, we need to find somewhere to put um, a greeting of some kind. So, and I haven't even decided what greeting we should have yet. I'm going to use dimensionals behind here. What do you guys think? We're going to need bling too. Quite obviously, we need some of that. Don't even, don't even question me, Jody. I know that we need bling. And, uh, absolutely. Yep, awful. The last one. All right, I'm going to pop this here. I want to have some of these little green bits coming out. So I'll have him going over this side. And I'm going to pop the star on a dimensional here. And we'll have that going just like that. And we'll have our little guy going up the other way. So is there anyone watching tonight who'd never considered this set and then you're thinking, hmm, actually, now you show me, that's pretty, pretty cool. Because I know when I watch other people using sets, I get so inspired and it makes me wish I had the set if I see it used in a way that's really, really beautiful. Now, I'm just thinking, you know what else would be really nice on here would be some of this again, like a strip maybe going down through here. I've got a dimensional there, but I'm sure we can make it work. Let's let's turn that over and I'm going to add this. We're going to just make a little strip. Like I said, I'm obsessed with this um, more dazzle paper at the moment. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe a strip of it. Let me just move my turtle a little bit. I can always put it back down. Oh, well, maybe, and I've got my star there as well. So really I should have put that down. If I was going to do that, I should have put it down earlier, but I could always put it up in the center here too. So that's a possibility, but I think we definitely need to add some blingy, blingy other things, maybe sequins, maybe something. And like I said, we need a greeting. So maybe I've got the cheerful daisies one, which not going to use this one because it's got a mark on it but maybe that would work um that's a possibility it's a good size the cheerful daisies label what do you guys think should we do that 
and I'll also get a piece of a card base, a basic white card base. I'm just going to cut that. So this is just thick basic white and that's what I use for most of my card bases. Not always, but most. Um, I've used it for both of them tonight. And let's, let's pop that on there. Use my bone folder to... And I like that, doesn't it look like it's a watery background? I like that. I think it works really, really well. <laughs> vellum, yes, we could add some vellum. That would be nice. Um, you think nothing, really? Are you serious? Ah, you like it, but you wouldn't buy it, Rose. <laughs> well, you need to get it out, Elizabeth, and use it because it's a beautiful set and it's really fun to use, even if you... You don't have to cut the turtles. You could stamp them straight onto the base. I just really like the way it looks when it's cut. I think it looks really, really nice. So I'm just going to pop that on here. Now, next weekend when I go live, I'm hoping to start showing. I mean, tonight we did show this beautiful ribbon, but um, I'm hoping to start showing some new some new product a little bit here and there and we might do a little bit of creating here and there with new products so there you go vellum and dazzle you think so <laughs> ah all right i'm just uh the dazzle does look good i know the greeting could go inside not on the front that's true marilyn that might be good so do you think we don't need a greeting on the front? Is that is Mar is Marilyn on to something there? What do you think? Now we do have a few options for um, our bling. We could um, let's see. We could add some of these Lost Lagoon. Um, what are they called? These are called tinsel gems. So I've got like a little sparkly bit inside and those would go really nice. So those would be good. Um, or we also have, we could do, we could do gold. Gold is always good. Um, and I have the, I have these, um, gold pastel gems. Those are nice because they kind of pick up whatever color they're on. So those would work. Um, and we also have, let's see. We also have the Pretty Peacock sequins, these guys. Those would look really nice. Those are good. So we've got some good choices there. <laughs> and you're right, it does need bling. <laughs> oh, that's sorry to, sorry to hear that, Carol. I'm very, very, really sad that you have to put up with that kind of pain. That's no good. Tinsel gems for Cherie. All right. Um, all right. So it sounds like people are saying the dazzle looks good, but I will need to move um, a couple of these in order to put the dazzle down. And that's okay. We can do that. We can lift up our dimensionals. Let's just move this. Easier said than done because I've already and my... I'm trying not to rip the paper because it's very easy to do that. Here you go. That one's off. And then let's, how long is that? That needs just to be cut down a little bit. It needs to be 13.8. Uh, so let me see how close we are. Yep. Almost exactly right. Just take off a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to apply my very this is a tiny strip of dazzle but I'm going to apply my and I see Cherie has said tinsel gems so I think you're right I think we'll add those so I think they'll look really really good and I'm going to pop this right here 
along this edge. This little guy is going to go back down and oh I was gonna say where did my where did my star go but he was stuck to my stuck to my shirt. There we go just like that. Can you see the that's nice and then we've got our tinsel gems here so I'm going to put I'm, I'm going to put one in the middle of the starfish don't know why I'm doing that but anyway I think it might look good and maybe one over here and a little one up the top here now if you wanted to if you don't like these loose you could pop a couple of mini dimensionals under the arms to keep that down although I don't mind that I think it looks okay are we in agreement that we need to um to open up and put a greeting inside that might be the go a simple hello if you think it needs a message or we could put a hello on the outside so we could do a hello here a little hello which would work quite well or i can just stamp something on the inside the bling seems lost Donna says maybe a little but it's the they're sparkly so it does work and I I don't mind that you can't see them like you can't really see it unless you hold it a certain way but I am okay with that I think inside says Rose the bling's not dark enough yeah you are Donna Donna is right it is a little bit lost even though I don't like I said I don't mind it let's let's do this let's take these off and put them back on here and what if I was to add these guys you tell me if you think these are better so these are not as shiny they're not as blingy as the other ones. I actually love these. I think these are beautiful. But they these might stand out better. What do we think? Is, is that better? What do you think? Pretty peacock? Okay, that's what we have. All right, so I'm wondering about... Would you give this to a guy? This card. Okay, Joanne is saying no greeting on the front, on the inside. If we had a few people say that now, so maybe that's what we do. Maybe we we do that. We could make it. We could use the same one we used before and say thanks for all you do. Um, we had with the tropical set that recently retired. There was a lovely, you know, have a beachy day, which I thought worked really well for that. Um, and I'm just wondering. There's, you know, you are a treasure is nice. <laughs> so that would be good. If you wanted to give it to a guy, you could have, like, here on the outside, you could cut out the love this guy and have that on the outside. I don't know. What greeting do we need to, do we want to have? Do we, does anyone have any good ideas for what would be a good greeting? And yes, masculine or feminine. Yeah, you could give it to a guy, definitely. Hmm. Okay. So maybe I'll have a think about what will go on the inside and watch this space. I mean, we could just use a nice thank you. But nothing seems quite right for this particular card and I'm not sure what I want to say. Just because, yeah, just because would be good. Do I have any, I don't think I have any just because stamps right now. There's a couple of new greeting sets in the new catalogue that are absolutely fabulous and I think, um, I think are going to be amazingly well received. Um, really, really nice greetings, very usable. I could also do something like just a simple, like a simple hello 
which is a this is a really nice hello and it would look nice here too i could put it there so you know there's a number of a number of different and that's from the artistically inked set so that's a possibility there's a simple happy birthday that you could give to a guy or a girl and that would be you know it's very simple Yep, yeah, no, there's no words in the in the in that set. So the turtle set doesn't have any words. And that's why I'm wondering what we should use. Oh, you've got the new greeting stamp sets. Good, Leslie. They're really nice, aren't they? I think they're going to be really popular. Yep, yeah, I agree, Carol. Just because all hello would work really well, but you're not going to put a greeting on yet until you... Okay, Lynn's got a good point. And maybe I won't put a greeting on this one because as she said, she wouldn't put a greeting on it until she knew who she was sending it to. That's a good idea. Okay, so I think we're going to say this card does not need a greeting right now. And I'm going to go with that. I'm happy with that if you're happy with that. What do you think? So we have two cards tonight. I'm just going to grab them both out. They're our two cards. Different, totally different to each other. Um, I'm not even, I'm not sure when I started tonight what I was thinking. We were, I just knew I wanted to use this set and that set, but I had no idea what the cards would look like. So that's what we've ended up with. <laughs> I'd like to wish you guys all a wonderful week ahead. I hope everyone has a really great Monday to Friday. I will be back on Friday night. Um, but I hope I hope that you all um, had a great weekend and that this was a fun little session for you. If you have any questions, don't forget you can see me over on the Facebook group. Either you can go to my Facebook page, which is Linda's, Linda Dolkey Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. That's available to anybody, no matter where in the world you live. You can go onto that page and follow. And I'll oh, thank you, Susan. Appreciate the thumbs up. <laughs> and oh, good luck, Kathy. I hope you get some sleep. That's good. No, we didn't use any vellum tonight. I know what's happening. <laughs> No vellum. Oh my goodness. Maybe next week. Maybe next week vellum will be back. I'm sure it won't be gone for long. Um, I will put up my VIP page for anyone who, um, this is the VIP page for anyone who's in Australia. So if you're in Australia, you can be part of my private stamp and VIP group. Um, that is where I do um, things that relate more to our market here. So um, I do like little sales on there we have giveaways and other things from time to time and i do talk more about things that are happening in our local market so if you are interested in being part of that group and you're in australia um search linda dolkey's private stamp and vip group and request to join and as long as you're in australia you'll be available you'll be allowed to join the group so um i hope some of you will do that and um, that's also where I'll be talking about my little promotion at the end of the month. So you might want to check that out. Or you can be on my email newsletter, le ugh, email newsletter list. All right. Let me get rid of that. And then I am going to click over to here. There I am. Um, thank you guys for being with me tonight. I hope you had a great weekend. Have a great week ahead. And I will see you very soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>